school. I mean, you shouldn't get hypothermia going to a Met game. No. It, that shouldn't be like on that list. <laughs> Yo, but you know what's crazy? Because I wanted to, I wanted to ask, you, and I didn't want to be a dickhead. Because it's this thing that white people don't get cold. No, I don't. I don't know what what it is. That's why I want to. It is but not. Like, when you asked that fuck. earlier, and you was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, those are a bunch of those that we just did, but they're uh, probably. <laughs> So we just got to Atlanta to check out Haas. Uh, you know, do a little work. Should be for a great trip. Uh, we've been on the road for a little bit, running around. But uh, yeah, man, definitely, definitely excited. Uh, see the homie, I haven't seen the homie in a little bit, so excited for that. And uh, yeah, man, ready for an exciting land trip. One of my favorite places to be, you know? All right, so we just did this uh, creative content podcast with this nigga Oz, incredible. They left me with uh, an incredible parting gift, Pinot Grigio, of course, uh, and a Cuban from Cuba, of all things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Sure, that. You know what I mean? Mike's the Cuban, he had a whole... That shit looked Texas stupid. That's Mike Cigars. Yeah, that's pretty dope right there. You know what I mean? It looks super illegal, but it's really not. You had an incredible story on how you got the Cuban Cigars. You like, got it. definitely did. But yo, shout the podcast out. Creative Content Podcast. You know what I mean? We're on IG at Creative Content Podcast. It's Hot Seat House. Um, you can find me on... Um, IG also at Hassan H A H S O N underscore. I put that all that info will be there for them yeah. so they can uh, um, check that out. Sh shout out to Eastside Q. Shout out to Mike. He's not here. Um, shout out to Hami for you know letting us use the the incredible studio. Studio. Great the great art on the wall. Great art, great shit. You know what I mean? You know, just great dope shit. You, you know, know. To give you creative vibes. So. The OG cap. Um, you know what I mean? I told him an incredible podcast with the most com comical man I know. This is the most comical guy in Atlanta. Eastside Cuban, this bitch. Eastside nigga. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, creative content for sure. This is, look, this, this all is, up. Um, the podcast. Traveling podcast. Traveling podcast. It's all inside there. Called oh, yeah. Podcast Stanley, baby. Yeah. <laughs> podcast, podcast Stanley, Stanley right? That is hilarious. We in the building. Mets is losing. We out this bitch. You gotta leave out here. Get out here before you know the traffic. I mean? Before the traffic, though. But before the traffic. But we what? still lit, though. Pretty much. <laughs> nothing else you can do about it. Shout out to the stat now. That's kind of lit, though. All right, so we came and checked out this uh, Met game, which was uh, extremely trash because they got the ass. They got the ass whipped. The, the Mets fan in here are very anti-social. That's fans. Because we're getting beat by like fucking every, 11 every, runs. Every Mets fan, I said, yo, go Mets. They niggas looked at me like I had a fucking did Braves. You, but did you see the score? Or a fucking um, whatever it had on. I don't even know. Bro, the score was terrible. It's like 7 uh, 1. It's, right? it's, it's horrendous. It might be more than that. That sounds like more runs. That sounds like that. Like that sounds you heard that? 13 to 1. <laughs> <laughs> and we just bought these goddamn hats. Yeah, we bought these hats. You know what I mean? He's fresh. He's brand new. Fresh. Brand new. I could probably sell this shit. Right? I could bring this back to fucking Liz and get my money back. That's how fresh these shit is. I feel like shit for buying mine. But it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, you know. But I get to go back to New York, so I'm cool. Pow.
That was a shot right there. You don't say that shot. Yeah. That was a gut shot. <laughs> but uh, Braves fans are pretty honest people. We're pretty smart for leaving fucking early. Oh yeah. Pretty preppy. Super preppy. They don't believe in. Matter of fact, right? Exhibit A. Very preppy. Hold on. We got that. Loafers? Exhibit A, yeah, shorts and, and like vineyard that. vines. Is the dude with penny loafers. They all have penny loafers on. What happens to your fucking scullies in here? I don't know. There's no scullies. Sweaters. But it's just this nigga. Sweatpants. <laughs> right? This dude right yeah. here walking. And two hands that got beer in them. His legs is pink. I mean, you shouldn't get hypothermia going to a Met game. <laughs> no. That shouldn't be like on that list. <laughs> Yo, but you know what's crazy? Because I wanted to, I wanted to ask. Him. And I didn't want to be a dickhead. Because it's this thing that white people don't get cold. No, I don't I don't know what, what it is. That's why I want that. It is but not like, When you asked that stuff. earlier, and you was like, what the fuck? I was, no, no, I no. Was like, they, they don't. They, is that true? Like, the majority of them. I don't understand that, though. I don't, it's cold, you know what? cold to me. No, yeah. we're from, generally, colder climates. So you can endure. your bodies can endure it more. Where you, you're I understand that. from warmer climates. Uh, yeah, but we just can't do can't, it. Like I can't stand the cold. You see some of the motherfuckers that was yeah, in the building right now. They had fucking golf shirts with khaki shorts on and shit. My man, know you got the Nick hat on. We gotta know when we gotta leave early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's that, that time. Thank you. It's that time. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about it. Everybody, it's what it is, right? Back time. Had the rally cap on. They want to backfire. So uh, we just got to Nashville. Uh, checking in, about to check out with my homie in a minute. I ain't seen him in a minute. Turn this desk into a temporary, functionable, somewhat studio to get some work done over here, you know, while I'm here. But uh, yeah, man, great views. Nashville, what up? Let's see what it is. It's a big ass horse in the street. I don't know if I can get it anymore because he's like kind of out. Yeah, he just made that big ass shoe tank. But I can't get the horse, my bad. But yeah, man. So we just in Nashville. We're going to see what's what. See what it's hitting for. And uh, oh, yeah, side note. I don't know if you can see it. But I don't know, man. Y'all stay flagged. Look a little creepy, man. It got the stars and shit. Shit look kind of Confederate. You know, Confederate flag like it kind of got that Confederate flag vibe. I don't know, kind of uh, kind of creepy. You really can't see it. There's one flying on under that American flag. Anyway, that shit look a little crazy, a little crazy, look a little crazy, look a little creepy. Y'all probably wanna uh look into that. You know, figure that out. So I mean, we just started walking around Nashville I'm with my homie Jay Green. My assessment on Nashville. There is, I repeat, no black people here. Maserati? There's Maseratis. No black people. So, uh, yeah. Pretty awkward. Different. Very different. Especially coming from Atlanta, it's very different. Agreed or no? As a person who lives here. <laughs> it's just this area, man. It's like, Disney, it's like Disney World down here. We do have uh, we do have the only black hockey player in the whole NHL, though, pretty much. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, my neck, my back, my neck and my back. Oh. He had was a forty in a bamboo. Stick to the script, but couldn't do that with no direction. That was finally cut from his post when time tested him. Print his timeline, if you edit, you'll get the message. But this ain't a movie, and these bars need no corrections. All some new suggestions. The streets need answers. Spoke for reasons, but might just dread it with all these questions. We put more value in counting dollars than blessings. Now, how you end up losing your life is your life lesson.